just got back from Babes Ride Out event out in the East Coast here from Wisconsin all the way out there and I wanted to do a video on what I packed before I left but I figured that wasn't going to be as beneficial as what I'm going to do right now and share with you the things that did work for me the things that didn't work for me and what I'll put on this new 2021 Harley Davidson Pan America special so let's get into the actual details of the video So I was provided this bike by Harley Davidson for pretty much the month of June. And so I took it out to Babes Ride Out with everything that you see here. So I have the tank bag that goes along with it, the two hard cases set up here, one and two, which you notice this one's actually a little bit smaller than the one on the left hand side and also the waterproof bag for the back. So I'll get into each specific um, area or zone but we'll start with the tank bag first so this tank bag felt massive when i first got it but i got used to it very very quickly it has been extremely helpful for any sort of riding and just having things right in front of you because the tank is not metal um it does not have any it doesn't stick to any magnets. So my tank bag that I used for my sporty wasn't gonna work for this sake. So I'm glad that they installed this guy that I can have everything all in one place. And it is massive, like you can hold a lot of stuff in here. But for my reason, um, I only had my earplugs and a pin on this side. The front part of it has a clear top to it. So I actually have my um, Easy Pass, which got me through all the tolls through Illinois Indiana, Ohio, everything out in that East Coast area. That was super beneficial. In the top part here, I held my things that I needed to get very quickly. So my wallet was in here, my phone if it wasn't in the phone holder was in here, and just my GoPro batteries and the key. <laughs> that was about it for me. Other than that, everything else was all housed in this middle section here. So in here, of course, my riding gloves were actually on me. I have um, a microfiber cloth and bug slide just in case I needed to clean off the windshield. I used a lot of these Kafaro bags. I raided my husband's stash downstairs and they came quite in handy, which you'll see on the other parts of the bike. But I held all of my electronics in here. So all the extra cords I needed, my headlamp, my external battery packs, they were all housed in one spot here. So if I need to do anything electronic wise, it was all up in this front area here. The last things that I had in here, of course my Garmin was actually mounted to the top of the bike. I had my medic kit, which unfortunately we had to use at Babes Right Out for an, a small incident, which was not for me, but it was something that happened while I was in that same area, which came in handy for the necessary things that were needed on it. Um, I have a pretty much hot, like waterproof, durable, state of uh, the United States map just in case I needed it and then I have my it was actually my certification for my 48 states in 10 days challenge which I'm putting on this channel here but I was trying it out to see for my saddle sore 1000 so if you haven't seen that video I will put a link up above and in the description I did a saddle sore 1000 out to babes right out from Wisconsin to pretty much New York um, under uh, 20 hour mark 20 uh, 20 on yeah 20 hours or 21 hours but i used it to practice my gas station stops for my 48 10 challenge so all of my gas receipts were in here and i just got used to that other than that i had a um, cooling balaclava and that's pretty much about it this side has just extra wrenches for the ram mounts kleenexes zyrtec and then um, just, um, and like high, what is it, the emergency, kind of like just a little pick-me-ups if I needed something like that. And then I also did pack my Go Girl, didn't have to use it, but I have it in here just in case I need, <laughs> I need it. That was it for my tank. So here's what I packed on the right side of the hard cases. Let me bring you over here so that way you can actually see. Side of it, it's 
pretty packed, but it's not too bad <laughs> as what it really looks like. So I have um, just a lunchbox that kept all of my snacks in here. So I had some refrigerated stuff, but for the most part, all of my dry snacks were included in this guy. Then of course I had to have my Burks with me. That was something that is just a luxury if I'm not in my motorcycle boots. I'm living in these guys. So I have never had a chain driven bike before. So I made sure that I brought my chain lube just with the distances that I was doing. I have a Luminate, which this is fantastic. It's actually solar powered and can charge a USB if you need to. Um, this use worked very well for my tent at night just to be able to light it up because it actually pops open. But also on the side of the road too, there's a flashing um, option on this. There's different settings, but then there also is like a flashing emergency one. So if you are on the side of the road, you can pop it up and have some kind of caution wave to you if you need to. But this is very beneficial to have. Then I have my Joby stand as well as a toolkit. And then everything else had its own little bags organized in here. So with the dining options that were available at Babes Right Out this year, I didn't know if I was going to get breakfast and lunch and all of that. So I packed dehydrated meals. Still have a lot of them left over. Um, and then this next Kafaro bag, because I've got a lot of them, actually held all of my um, you, like toiletries almost. So there's an extra face mask in here, hair, um, shampoo. I actually have a Matador blanket almost that you could sit on if you wanted to because I did not bring a chair. But I have my shampoo. The whole nine works in here. DEET, deodorant, all that fun stuff that goes in there. Then the last one is my camping kitchen bag. So I like that it had its own zones and I had their own bags so that I knew if I need to find anything, I had an idea of where it went. So in this one, I have um, a jet boil that my husband and I share and I've actually got more use out of it this year and last year than he did. But I have a packable water bottle that's very small and easy to drink out of. My stainless steel kitchenware, Gerber knife, the um, ignition fire part for the jet boil. I have a water cell that I filled up with, a scrubby pad, and then just um, a plate if I needed to. But for the most part, I just used the dehydrated meals and what was in there. But that was it for this side of the container. So this was all the small accessory items, and this side here was my sleeping equipment. So let's get into that one. I'll unpack all of this stuff right now. <laughs> Okay, so in this one, I didn't have too much because it is pretty stuffed packed. Alrighty, immediately right in the front, I have my rain gear, which I did have to use when I was going to Babes Right Out. So this was right up on the top that I could reach it. The rest of it is pretty simple and they're all in the same one. So I have a rumple blanket that's um, kind of like a wooby if you're familiar with any of the army terms, but it's just a down packable blanket. Then I have my bivy and my sleeping pad it's all rolled up into one in its own little container and then the last one is my it's part foam part air pillow and the last but not least which actually fit perfectly inside of these hard cases was my first light um one person tent this was phenomenal and i absolutely loved setting it up for the first time and we'll use it a lot more my husband actually was um issued one of these for his military training and loved it so we bought one ourselves just to have and i i couldn't go wrong with that for that sake so let's pack everything back up in here but it fit very nice and then if i had an extra layer that i didn't want to use anymore i actually used the extra space in here for that but that was it for this side okay so going through the top waterproof let's put this down here um, bag. So I had this Kafaro bag that had all of my, when I'm not riding gear, so I have a hat in here, I have my swimsuit, my shorts, tops, jeans, extra pair of underwear, all that stuff. Everything all fitted into here and I actually have my um, 
Revit base layers, which I didn't need to use at all, but they were in here just in case. Everything was housed into one specific bag, so I knew exactly where everything was if I needed that. Then the rest of the stuff inside here, I actually was using these a lot and they were either in my tank bag or they were in the side hard cases, but I had just my cooling tank or t-shirt on. And then at the Harley Davidson Museum earlier this spring, I actually found this, I think it's the FX RG brand. I'm not sure, but it goes underneath an actual textile jacket, which is the one I had bought as well. But I used this and it has a quilted front, but then mesh on the side and the back. So it just gave you that extra layer of warmth if you needed it. And it was not too bulky and heavy for my end of it. So I layered up with my tank, the Revit, the HD um, jacket, and then my textile jacket. I was perfectly fine with just the leggings I had. So I had um, there and back, I used the Wind and Throttle. Oh shoot, I can't remember the actual product name, but I'll put a link in the description, uh, description of that actual pair. But then I brought another pair as well this is from bram moto if you're not familiar with her go check her out she's actually doing a trunk show traveling motorcycle gear too these were fantastic during the actual days of babes ride out so i use these for riding on saturday and um friday as well if i needed to so that was helpful just to have two pairs of pants one would have gotten a little a little too much or extended its life for the four days five days that i was on the road so extra pair of motorcycle kevlar jeans was really crucial for me to have i had an extra um, sweatshirt in case i needed more layers to add up to but i never really had to use it at all even in the nights that we were there at babes right out didn't have to but it was a nice just in case the last thing i have are these fit kick uh, water shoes I use them for. I use them for the shower, but they're just small packable extra pair of shoes so I didn't have to ruin my Burks uh, if I needed to, but it was super nice and helpful. But all of that, along with the Kafaro bag, was rolled up easily in this waterproof um, waterproof bag, but I could have added a lot more if I wanted to. Extra pair of gloves. I could have put extra pair of motorcycle shoes if I wanted to too, but you know, it worked for what it is. Okay, so that is pretty much how I packed um, the Harley Davidson Pan America Special for Babes Ride Out. These hard cases came so in handy. There was so much room for that that I really didn't have to pack too much else. It made it a lot easier with the tank bag and those two side panels or side panners, how hard cases, whatever you want to call them. But if you have any questions at all with the gear or how I packed, make sure to leave a comment. This was my first moto camping trip of the year. And I think I did pretty well with keeping things minimalized, but also I didn't have anything that I absolutely needed. I could have packed my big Agnes chair if I wanted to, but it wasn't necessary. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I liked having the extra space for an extra water bottle. I used everything that I showed you here um, except for maybe some of the toiletries that I didn't have to but they were nice to have just in case but everything else had its purpose and I'm super glad and thankful for my husband to kind of help walk me through this I felt very prepared and I'm glad I'm sharing this with you guys so that if you have any hesitations on what to pack or things that you're missing I'm glad I could share this video with you but yeah if you want to see any more of the moto vlogging content that I share including you know um, long distance endurance riding this was my first moto camping experience for 2021 and I'm super proud of how minimalist or condensed down I was for this bike and I feel like this stuff that i have on here could transfer very well to any other motorcycle that's going on an adventure for more than four days yes more than four days so all right thanks guys for tuning in we'll see you on the next one